I would advise every Emirati to need to follow their passion. But you can't say passion and go and dream and do your passion. You need to have that skills, that experience. You need to work so hard. I work for Dubai Health Authority as a director of investment and public-private partnership. So I'm an Emirati, uh, born in Dubai. Um, I traveled to Dublin in 1992 uh, to study uh, medicine at the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. I graduated in 1999 and I came to Dubai and I did my internship. During my stay in Dubai, uh, basically I did my uh, uh, board exam and I obtained my family medicine as a specialist. And as well, uh, because I was working at uh, Dubai International Airport at one stage of my uh, career, I uh, studied aviation medicine and I got my uh, certificate in aviation medicine from Monash University in Melbourne. I attended uh, leadership program of His Highness uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid program and uh, for young leader, that was in 2009. Uh, I worked in various uh, healthcare fields uh, from uh, government entities until uh, private entities, as well as I worked uh, at the Prime Minister office at one of uh, the stage. I have almost like 22 years of experience. Ten years of my ex previous experience, I had a pure kind of like hands-on patients. I was looking after my patients uh, between hospitals and the clinics. When I did my master's degree in health management in 2007 from Royal College of Surgeon, Surgeon I shifted to more into administration and leadership position. I always looked uh, at Her Royal Highness uh, Sheikha Fatma bint Mubarak as an, a pure uh, icon uh, for, a, um, for a woman. She has empowered, uh, she led a lot of different position, and she encouraged women to be in different uh, sectors, including military, healthcare, education. And of course, that's because of the vision of our late father, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, who empowered women in every single step. Even when we were as a student in, in Dublin, whenever he visited uh, UK, he always um, used to ask about his uh, children, I would say girls and boys who studied in, in Dublin. And of course, everywhere in the part of the world where he knew that um, there are people are seeking education uh, to come back to feed this country with uh, positive energy, as well as with lots of different uh, passion, uh, innovations, ideas to improve the whole infrastructure and system. From my experience, life is not easy. So there's a lot of challenges. I would say like, uh, you know, there's an up and down. And of course, uh, I would advise every Emirati to need to follow their passion. But you can't say, passion and go and dream and do your passion. You need to have that skills, that experience. You need to work so hard just for the sake of reaching your goal or your target that you're aiming to reach to it and to shape your career. It wasn't an easy journey. Uh, there's a lot of challenges. And of course, with, with such a lifestyle, uh, such um, challenge among uh, our each, every single steps, we need to look at it, we need to study it, and then you plan how you want to reach to that target or goal. So this is what I always advise every single Emirati. So saying that it's not a straightforward, it's every single steps you need to take it, and you need to learn from that.